Hey guys, it's Layla today with the muscles of the back. Um, you've got two uh, layers. You've got the superficial and the deep. So let's start with the superficial. And then move on to the deep one. There are quite a lot of muscles. So it might be a bit of a difficult um, topic. But... Hopefully I can make it easy with the mnemonics. So we've got um, first one for superficial. We've got tigers love licking red rabbits sometimes. It's a bit of a weird one. So, so we write the letters down. We've got T L L R R. And S. Now we divide them into two groups, and S would be doubled, but you'll see in a bit. So uh, T would be the trapezius, L would be the latissimus dorsi, which is what the boys are always talking about. L would be the levator scapulae and R would be rhomboid. So is this R and this is major and then minor. Okay, now the S is the serratus steria superior. And we've got another one which is the same but inferior. And in the front, we've got a serratus anterior, superior, and inferior, but that's different. Okay, so now we need to know the innervation. So, um, the trapezius, I'll start with the lower one. So, both of them are innervated by the anterior primary rami the first one would be t2 to t5 and t9 to t12 so the superior one is for inspiration and the inferior one is for expiration and um, they attach to the posterior aspect of the ribs And that's it um, from the spine. The superficial, all of them originate from the spine. Okay, so it's for them all. Alright, now the trapezius, it has three parts. It's got a pass uh, ascendance that goes to the clavicle. It's got a pars transversa, which goes to the acromion, and it's got a pars descendants that goes to the spina scapulae. Okay, it is innervated by the cranial nerve number 11 which is the accessory nerve and the plexus cervicalis C2 to C4 okay all right then um, and it goes from the nuchae on the base of the cranium the latissimus dorsi is innervated by the thoracodorsal nerve, thoracodorsal, which is from the brachial plexus uh, C6, 7 and 8. It is obviously from the spine to the bicipital groove, so bicipital groove on the humerus. The levator scapulae, rhomboid major and rhomboid minor are innervated by the dorsal scapula, 
nerve and the levator scapula is also innervated by the anterior primary rami of C3 and 4. Okay, so the levator scapula goes from the upper media border, border of the scapula, while the rhomboids go from the posterior medial borders of the scapula. Okay, that is it for the superficial. Now we move on to the deep. Um, there are quite a lot of muscles, so I've only made a mnemonic for the important ones. And it goes something like, in life, some say money rules. Okay, so first we'll write these ones and then we'll write the extra bits. So we've got I, L, S, S, M, and R. There's our two groups. Then we've got another group with the S and the S, and another group with the I, I, and L. Okay, so this would be for the iliocostalis. This would be the longissimus, which is important. And you've got the spinalis, the semispinalis, the multifidus, and the rotatoris brevis and longus. Brevis means short, longus means long. Okay, so, oh, sorry. Uh, then you've got the um, splenius capitis and so fits this. And splenius cervices. Then you've got the interspinalis. Intertransversary, and the lever torus costarum, which from the name I'm sure you can guess that if um, goes to the ribs, right? So Let's start. All of them are innervated by the posterior rami. So that's the good news here. All of them. Okay, so, um, and most of them go to the spine as well. So the iliocostalis um, goes to the, I'll name the parts of the spine that they go to, right? So they, it goes to the cervical and the lower rib angles. Again, costalis, so the insertion would be the lower rib angles. Uh, the longissimus goes to the cervical and the thoracic with the ribs. It also goes at the transverse processes and it also goes to the mastoid process. So it goes all the way up to the mastoid process of the temporal bone. The spinalis goes to the thoracic and the cranium, the spinal process of the thoracic. Then we've got the semispinalis, these are the lower ones and the deeper ones. Um, so the semispinalis goes to cervical and thoracic spinal processes. The multifidus goes along the entire length of the spine, so entire length the spinous processes of the entire vertebra. Then you've got the rotatoris brevis and longus, which goes to the thoracic only. Then the splenius capitis, um, it goes, it starts between the superior, between 
the superior and the inferior nuchal lines, which if you don't know is on the base of the skull. Uh, we mentioned the nuchae. Was it in this one? No, it wasn't in this. Uh, video. Sorry, okay. So the nuchal uh, lines and the cervices goes from the <coughs> cervical vertebra C1 to C3, the posterior tubercles. The interspinalis is, these are the deep muscles and it goes to the cervical and the lumbar. So does the intertransversary, C and L. And the levatoris goes to C and T with the ribs because costarum, so with ribs. These, they go to the spinous processes and also, even though all of them are posterior rami, the intertransversary also has innovation from the anterior primary rami and uh, the muscles of the back are covered by a deep fascia under which you have the investing layer of the deep fascia which is the thoracolumbar fascia and it is continuous with the nuchal fascia that is it for this video. I hope it was easy to understand. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.